this video will be about the differences between the concentration versions of the equilibrium constant Kc and the pressure version of the equilibrium constant Kp. We will derive one from the other and we will also convert one to the other. An equilibrium constant expression equals the concentration or the partial pressure of the products raised to their coefficient in the balanced equation divided by the concentration or the partial pressure of the reactants raised to their coefficient in the balanced equation. For generic reaction equations such as A, A gas plus B, B gas in equilibrium with C, C gas plus D, D gas, Kc will equal the concentration of the products raised to their coefficients in the balanced equation divided by the concentrations of the reactants raised to their coefficients in the balanced equation. Therefore, Kc will equal the concentration of C raised to the power C times the concentration of D raised to the power D divided by the concentration of A raised to the power A times the concentration of B raised to the power B. Kp will equal the partial pressure of C raised to the power C times the partial pressure of D raised to the power D divided by the partial pressure of A raised to the power A times the partial pressure of B raised to the power B. Remember, only gases and aqueous solutions are in equilibrium constant expressions. Pure solids and liquids are not. Partial pressures only relate to gases, so only equations that have gases in them can have a Kp expression. Another equation that relates only to gases is the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. Concentrations of substances are usually represented by a number of moles divided by a volume unit, or N divided by V. If we rearrange the ideal gas law equation by substituting concentration into it, we need to divide each side by the volume. Then we end up with pressure equals number of moles divided by volume times the gas constant times temperature. Since number of moles over volume equals concentration, this equation reduces to pressure equals concentration times the gas constant times temperature. Let's relate this equation to a couple of examples. 2 H2O gas in equilibrium with 2 H2 gas plus O2 gas. First, write the Kp expression for this equation. Remember, equilibrium constant expressions have products over the reactants. So Kp equals the partial pressure of H2 squared times the partial pressure of O2 divided by the partial pressure of H2O squared. Substitute the equation pressure equals concentration times the gas constant times temperature. We find that the Kp then equals the concentration of H2 times the gas constant times temperature squared times the concentration of O2 times the gas constant times temperature divided by the concentration of H2O times the gas constant times temperature squared. Move and cancel the gas constant and temperature out of each product and we will have RT squared times RT divided by RT squared, which just equals RT. So our final equation looks like the concentration of H2 squared times the concentration of O2 divided by the concentration of H2O squared times RT. The concentration terms are the Kc expression for this reaction, but it is times RT. So for this reaction, Kp equals Kc times RT. Another example is 2HF gas in equilibrium with H2 gas plus F2 gas. First, again, write the Kp expression for this equation. Kp equals the partial pressure of H2 times the partial pressure of F2 divided by the partial pressure of HF squared. Substitute the equation pressure equals concentration times the gas constant times temperature. We find that the Kp then equals the concentration of H2 times the gas constant times temperature times the concentration of F2 times the gas constant times temperature divided by the concentration of HF times the gas constant times temperature squared. Move and cancel the gas constant and temperature out of each product and we will have RT times RT divided by RT squared, which equals 1. So our final equation looks like the concentration of H2 times the concentration of F2 divided by the concentration of HF squared. The concentration quotient term is just the Kc expression for this reaction. So for this reaction, Kp equals Kc. The relationship between Kp and Kc is that Kp equals Kc times the gas constant times the temperature raised to the delta N. 
where delta N equals the sum of all the gaseous product coefficients minus the sum of the gaseous reacting coefficients. For our generic equation of AA gas plus BB gas in equilibrium with CC gas plus DD gas, the Kp equals Kc times RT raised to the delta N. Delta N for our generic equation equals C plus D minus A plus B. The value for R that you want to use in these equations is 0 0.08206 liters times ATM divided by mole times Kelvin, and your temperature has to be in Kelvin. This works out so that your value of Kp and Kc are unitless. Let's work on some problems using the concepts described in this video. 1. Ammonia decomposes upon heating by the following reaction. 2. NH3 gas in equilibrium with 3H2 gas plus N2 gas. A. If Kc equals 9.31 times 10 to the negative 3 at 800 degrees Celsius, what is the Kp at this temperature? B. If a 2.50 liter vessel contained 0.0185 mold of ammonia, NH3, 0.158 mole of hydrogen gas, and 0.870 mole nitrogen gas at 298 Kelvin in an equilibrium mixture. Calculate the value of Kc at 298 Kelvin. C. Calculate the value of Kp at 298 Kelvin. To solve for part A, remember the relationship between Kp and Kc which is Kp equals Kc times the gas constant times temperature raised to the delta N. Delta N is the sum of the gaseous product coefficients minus the sum of the gaseous reactant coefficients. For our reaction, the sum of the product coefficients is 3 for H2 and 1 for N2, which equals 4. The sum of the reactant coefficients is 2 for the NH3, so the delta N equals 4 minus 2, which equals 2. So the value of the Kp equals Kc times Rt squared. Our temperature is given in degrees Celsius, and it needs to be in Kelvin to have this equation work. To convert to Kelvin, take 800 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 equals 1073.15 Kelvin. Therefore, our Kp equals 9.31 times 10 to the negative 3 times 0 0.08206 times 1073.15 squared. This works out to be 72.1, which equals our Kp. To solve for part B, calculate the concentration of each of the reactants and products and plug them into the Kc expression, which for this reaction is the concentration of H2 cubed times the concentration of N2 divided by the concentration of NH3 squared. The equation for concentration is the number of moles divided by the volume. The concentration of H2 is 0.158 moles divided by 2.50 liters, which equals 0.0632 molar. The concentration of N2 is 0.870 moles divided by 2.50 liters, which equals 0.346 molar. The concentration of NH3 is 0.0185 moles divided by 2.50 liters, which equals 0.00740 molar. So therefore, Kc equals 0.0632 cubed times 0.346 divided by 0.00740 squared, which equals 1.60. To solve for part C, remember your equation that we developed in part A for the relationship between Kp and Kc. This equation was the value of the Kp equals Kc times Rt squared. Plug what we calculated in part B, the gas constant, and the temperature, which is 298 Kelvin, into this equation. We end up with Kp equals 1.60 times 0 0.08206 times 298 squared. This equals our Kp value, 957. 2. Consider the following reaction at 1000 degrees Celsius. CO gas plus 3H2 gas is in equilibrium with CH4 gas plus H2O gas. At equilibrium, the following pressures are measured. PCO equals 0 0.0613 atm, PH2 equals 0 0.1839 atm, PCH4 equals 0 0.0387 atm, and PH2O 
equals 0 0.0387 atm. Calculate the concentration of Kp for this reaction. Calculate the value of Kc. Remember our Kp expression to solve for it, which for this equation is the partial pressure of CH4 times the partial pressure of H2O divided by the partial pressure of CO times the partial pressure of H2 cubed. Then substitute our pressure values into this equation. We have 0 0.0387 times 0 0.0387 divided by 0 0.0613 times 0 0.1839 cubed. If we do the math, we end up with our value of Kp, which equals 3.93. To convert this to Kc, use the equation that relates Kp and Kc, which is Kp equals Kc times Rt raised to the delta n. But for this problem, we are solving for Kc, so we need to rearrange this equation. To solve for Kc, divide each side by Rt raised to the delta n, and we come up with Kc equals Kp divided by Rt raised to the delta n. Our delta n for this problem is going to be 2, 1 each from CH4 and H2O, minus 4, 1 from CO, and 3 from H2, which equals negative 2. Therefore, our Kc equals Kp divided by Rt raised to the negative 2. If we use rules of exponents, our equation for this reaction will come out to be Kc equals Kp times Rt raised to the 2. We will need our temperature to be in Kelvin so the units will cancel out with the gas constant. So 1000 degrees Celsius plus 273.15 equals 1273.15 Kelvin. Plug in what you calculated before into this new equation and we end up with Kc equals 3.93 times 0 0.08206 times 1273.15 squared, which equals 42,896, or rounded to three significant figures, equals 4.29 times 10 to the 4 equals Kc.